Okay, folks, before we start this video, I just have to apologize to everybody. We had a lot of wind while we were taping it. I did have my microphone with the wind guard on it. But my little cord there came loose. Didn't realize it, so I was kind of taping without an outer microphone, and it was using the inner. Got a lot of wind noise. I apologize ahead of time. But if you wait till the end of the video, you're going to get a surprise. So please watch the whole thing. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be using my new bag. It's from a company called 31, spelled out. I don't know if you can see it. It's spelled out 31, not the numbers. This is a cool little bag. It goes on the back. I can carry some stuff in it. I uh, can carry my water in it. Inside, I also have a roll of toilet paper, which I call the emergency kit. You can find these at 31.com, 31.com. It's a nice little bag. They have all sorts of bags. They have handbags. They have little bag coolers. Go online. Check them out. When you're online buying, they ask you for a consultant name. Be great if you use my good friend C.C. Andrew. C.C. Andrew. That's spelled C-E-E-C-E-E. -E 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 -E. Andrew. Common spelled Andrew. Good friend of ours. All right, on to the show. And uh, just a minute, I'll be modeling the uh, bag for you because I am a professional model. I don't know if people know that. You'll see how good I am in just a minute here. Okay, we're off to another adventure in a old farm field. We looked at an old map. It was a 1904 map, Bill. House right over here somewhere exactly sure where but it's showed right in this corner but you know how old maps are they might not be accurate but we're hopeful and it showed that there was a old school across the street right over where that house is so let's see if we can find some digs find that first washer not an episode until you do all right i've got my little 31 bag on and if bill can hold this real quick I can model. Oh, how cute. Stylish. Yeah, it looks like Mike's digging his first hole down there. He's supposed to be getting a washer on his first hole, so what'd you get? I have no idea yet. Be back with you. Okay, I know you can't hear it. It sounds kind of crappy, but it sounds like there might be a couple of things there, so might be a couple of good things that makes it sound crappy. But the numbers are coming up pretty good. Coming up 74, 75. So we'll have to give it a shot and see what it does. Be back at you. Yeah, Mike wasn't kidding about this being all rock. So I'm going to have to put the camera down and see if I can find whatever it is without it in my hand. Be back at you. Looks like a piece of canned slaw or something. Oh well. On to the next. Okay, my next one is a little piece of copper. It has ornate on it. Not sure what it goes to. There's another part to it here. It's some kind of some kind of band or something. I don't know if it goes to a light fixture or there is ornate on it. A little fancy. I don't know if you can see it. Not sure what it is, but it has some kind of little pin or bracket on it. So we'll take a closer look at it later, see if we can figure it out. Until then, I shall see you on the next one. I'm thinking it was an Indian, but I'm not sure. It's an Indian? 
right there well, I was thinking, but I don't know. It doesn't look like an Indian on that side. That side's pretty toasted. I don't know what the heck that is. Looks is it a token? It's awful small for a token. It's penny sized. You know what? I don't have my magnifying glass with me either. On my it's kind of cool, whatever it is, because it, it says something, but I can't really see it. May I spit on your coin? If that excites you. It does. Gives you thrills. It does excite me. It does not help me, but it excited me. Oh, and Mike found the, the washer of the day, too, on his last hole there. Do you have that no, present? No, it's up by the truck, but I took a picture of it. Oh, a picture's not going to do it justice. We have to have it on camera, too. I, I filmed it. On live camera. On this. On video. Well, I'll have to send, video. send you my video, and you can put it on it. Video! <laughs> Camera's as good a video as that is. I have no idea what that is. That is pretty cool, though. Have your coin with my spit on it. Oh, thank you. And we'll clean it up you. later and try to figure out what it is. Yeah. All right, well, in this hole here, I uh, just unearthed what looks to be a button. Moved it around a little bit, but whatever it is, it's got a lot of color to it. Nice gold colored button. There's the shank still. But, um,. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit and see what we got. Can't tell if there's any yeah. writing, but it's definitely a lot of fancy. Yeah, a lot of gilt on it. Is that a... Doesn't look military. It looks like a couple leaves. Yeah, I see leaves. I thought I saw a bird. That's why I stopped there. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe a grapevine. That's really sharp, though. Yeah, I like Does it. Does the back have any writing on it, or can't you tell you? It's oh. all dirty. I'm going to have to get a toothbrush out and see if I can clean it. All right, we're going to have a picture of that later on. After it's cleaned up. Okay, now I'm getting a button signal. Not too far from work, Mike just found that nice uh, fancy button. It's in the plug here somewhere, and I, I'm guessing it's probably going to be a piece of iron, but let's hope not. Or a piece of tin. All right, and this hole ring up is a 88 and the ORX. Appears to be some kind of little uh, snap button, maybe. Maybe off some jeans or something. It's older, but not sure if that's what it is. It looks like a snap button. I don't think it's the top of a rivet because there's nothing on this side, so I'm guessing snap button. Well, Mike is kicking our butts today. Said he just found a largy or a token. He's not sure which yet, but by the time we get up there, I think that's the wreath there. It's definitely writing on it. There's writing on it. Can't say. Is there a? There's stars around it. I think. I don't know if there's a. Depending on where I was looking, I thought I saw. You can see whatever you want on it if you look hard enough. Yeah. Kind of like a chunk of lead I found earlier. Saw like 10 different things in it, but it was just a chunk of lead. Pretty sure that's the wreath. And something there. I see something written up, writing up here. I wish I had my, uh, I wish I brought my glasses. Yeah, or my glasses. Bill might have his glasses on him. Um, All right, we're going to clean that up, and that'll also be at the end of the uh, episode. So we'll see a little more of it anyway, but... Okay, this is probably my best find so far. It looks like a little piece of crotobel. Not positive, but... Sure looks like one. Looks like it had a little fancy on it of some kind. I, uh detected around it in the hole and I'm not finding any other pieces to it but sure what it looks like it looks like a piece of a proto bell all right Bill's on the board they just found a little small flat button in the hole 
It's ringing up about a 74. Looks like it's got a little bit of this shank left on the back. Yes, it does. Nothing on it. It's just a little, uh, like a little cuff button. But it's a start. Pull. On the board. Well, right next to Bill's button, he's digging something that rang about the same as his button, so we're going to try and see what that is. We don't have much time left. The sun is going down on us. Uh, unfortunately, we only had a couple of hours because we're digging after work. So we got started kind of late. And William found... Top to a can or something. Yeah, it's kind of cool though. All right, I think it's time to take this lens off. Oh, there we go. Now I can see better. It's dark enough to take yeah, the lens off. Top to an old uh, fluid can or something. That's what it looks like. Okay, one more thing I wanted to. <laughs> That's the sound that Bill makes when he thinks he found something good. Let's go check it out. All right, Bill just dug up part of a bottle cap. He's trying to claim as a trime. Unbelievable bucket lister. Holy crap. Let me see. Dude, it says Pepsi on it. It is a freaking says, trime. It says Look Pepsi at that. on it. Yeah, it says it's Pepsi trime. That is a trime. It's Pepsi trime. Let me that, see that smile. That is a big bucket lister, boy. Unbelievable. And it's beautiful condition, too. Is that a fist bump? Is that a fist bump? That's a fist bump. Not without my, uh, not without my, uh, magnifying glass. I just bring the loop. But there's no mistake in that. That's a trime. Oh, yeah. It's got you the can scar on the one side. That. What a ring up is. You would ask that, wouldn't you? I was around an 80, 81, 80, 83. Nice. Unbelievable. He planted it, eh? I saw him. He planted they're, they're it. They're here. <laughs> they're here. Yep, Mike found another button. This one's a little beat up. Thought I had a coin at first. Can't really make anything out on the front. And the shank's broken, but some gilding around the back, too. And it looks like there's some writing or decorative to wait to clean it up and get my glasses. Can't believe I forgot them. There's nothing on the front though. Nothing that I can see now. Does it say GW? Yeah, Jeffrey Washburn. Yeah, there you go. Jeffrey with a G. Jerry with a G. Hope oh, that was our last hunt. I don't know. It looks like there might be something on it. Or it could just be smudges of dirt, hard to say. Yeah. But well, this is the reason I'm not finding anything because his camera conveniently ran out of power. <laughs> Mike didn't bring his, so I'm busy taping these guys, and that's why I can't dig anything. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's getting dark now. Uh, it's a white, yeah, white. It's a fired musket ball. Ring up as an 82. I think it, musket balls usually ring up like 84, but it's fired. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It's a piece to a lantern. Right now I'm just using the light off my phone to light it up. It's not too bad, kind of cool. Usually on the little stem here they have the, uh, the year that it was made, so we'll see if we can find that later. Then you'll probably see it better in the wrap up because we'll have a light on everything. Well, I finally found a coin. I'm going to try it like this. You're not going to be able to see it. It's just a weedy, but it's finally a coin. And uh, it'll be part of the wrap up. Probably still won't be able to see it. I can see a year on it, but I can't see what it says. A little bit too dark. The sun, sun has gone down on us. It's going to be dark. 
soon. You probably can't even see Mike and Bill over there. Bill is right there. And Mike is right somewhere right here. Uh, going by the tree line, he's probably right there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this might be my last hole here. It's getting really dark. Oh, you know what? Actually, I have a hat light. Let's see if that helps at all. Oh, uh, there we go. You can see a little bit. It's a flat button. Has a shank on it. Don't think it says anything on it, but I'm finally on the board with something. Well, that and the weedy and uh, lantern part. Okay, you can probably not see the ugliness of those guys down there. A little dark. Got plenty of ugly to go around. But can you see the sky? It's kind of pretty. Looks like an October sky, actually. Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in morning, sailors take warning. But it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Right tomorrow, right? I saw Thursday. Oh, was it Thursday? The day after tomorrow. We're supposed to get 10 inches of snow. 3 to 10. Got to kick off the summer with a nice snowstorm. And then 50s on the weekend. Yeah, so hopefully that snow will melt and we can come back out here. Definitely a good area to try again. Oh, yeah. In the light, though. All right, once again, this bag is uh, from 31. If you guys go on the website, they have a lot of bags to choose from. They have women's handbags, coolers, other things. This is a really neat little bag. And if you uh, go online, the, use the consultant CC Andrew. CC Andrew. Kept my water in it. Got the emergency kit that nobody had to use. Other little pockets. It was just a nice little bag. I like it. That's nice to have on me. Okay, on to our wrap-up. Okay, with our uh, wrap-up here, I'll start with mine because I got nothing but pretty much a junk. Got the cool little lantern part. That's that's pretty cool. Got to look and see if I can get a date on that. A little bit of junk there. Got the uh, musket ball. Weedy. One button. Looks like a part to a croto bell. I'm not positive, but sure what it looks like. And then that little copper strap that has fancy on it. Not sure what it is. And we'll go on to Mike's. He got... Well, I got this clip. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm guessing maybe part of a spender clip or something. Uh, that's what it looks like. This may just be garbage. I'm thinking it might be a bell seal. There's nothing written on it, though. I've never seen a bell seal, and it looks kind of small, but maybe. Got a weedy. Got this other coin that I can't haven't identified yet that it's just a tiny bit larger than a penny so definitely not an indian but that was up in the same area that i got these yeah. two old buttons and the large scent that we still haven't identified yet either yeah so once all these are identified and cleaned off mike's probably going to send me some pictures and we'll uh put the pictures on the end of the wrap up if i can clean up clean them up good enough yeah absolutely all right and on the bills got the top to an oil lamp and I got a drawer pole, has a little bit of fancy on it. And a little uh, flat cuff button. And then uh, bucket lister fine is a trine. Well, that's the... Which it's just part of a Pepsi bottle cap. Don't let him fool you. And, First... he, and he also brought it with him and planted it. Yeah. But to your excitement. Definitely. Bucket lister. Couldn't believe it. I'd be excited by it. Yeah, he's he's uh, actually, every time we go out, that's all you bug us about. Now you're going to have to find something else to whine about. Seated. Oh, yeah, seated. He hasn't gotten a seated yet. Still have to find seated, but I haven't either. Oh, somebody else found a lantern top, too. Yeah. Uh, cool. Don't forget the washer to beat all washers. It's an episode. That is an episode and a half. Look at that washer. Today's episode is brought to you by Great Lakes Brewing, the Edmund Fitzgerald. Uh, we're not in Ohio, but we're close enough, and I lived there for seven years, so. And that's a wrap.
Okay, folks, at the beginning of the episode, I mentioned there was going to be a surprise at the end. Here's the surprise. You are a very smart person. You're a very smart person, and I suckered you into watching to the end of the video. That's a surprise. You surprised me. You should surprise yourself. But thank you for watching the whole thing. See you on the next one.